What's up, guys? Darren here from Darren On Demand. Uh, it's Wednesday, the 18th of March, um, currently in Spain on lockdown. So for today, uh, the video that I'm actually going to put out is about overlays. So a lot of people have messaged me and actually asked how I actually do my overlays on my <laughs> YouTube videos. So what I'm going to do is actually go a bit in depth into how I create my overlays for my uh, video shots. I use iMovie. I don't use Premiere Pro or um, Final Cut. I actually still use iMovie because I actually find that it's it's still quite good for how I produce my videos. Yeah, maybe later on I will actually um, look at investing into uh, one of those softwares. But currently I'm happy with what I've got. Um, I have an iMac. I have a MacBook Pro. So I can use iMovie free of charge with either of those two systems rather than having to pay quite a lot of money out for either of the other software programs. As I said, I use iMovie. But for my overlays, um, I don't use the um, the overlays that are include like the titles that are included in the iMovie. I just think they're very restrictive into um, where you can actually place um, the writing that you want. You know, you see if people use iMovie, you'll see that a lot of the, the actual titles are in certain positions. You'll have one that will come up like here, right across the middle. You'll have another one that comes up here in this corner here um, and other ones that will like bob onto the screen and then disappear. Now, I myself like to actually control where I put it, um, where I put my overlay also how the writing appears on the screen. I can include logos. Um, I can include various amounts of text um, that I want. I don't just have to um, have just one section like it does on the iMovie. So the two programs that I actually use to create my overlays are Keynote, which again is a free app that is actually given to any Apple users. Um, and the other one is Photoshop. Now Photoshop, Again, I've I've got a, a version that I use that you can now, uh, if you go onto the Adobe site, you can now actually subscribe and get the latest uh, Photoshop and the latest Lightroom. And I think it's about, here in Spain, it's I think it's €12.99 Euros 99, uh, a month to actually subscribe and you get access to everything on those two programs and um, they do offer other packages as well um, so you can add everything together I think if you want everything that Adobe offer then uh, I think it's about for me it's about 64 euros a month which is quite a lot of money when you think about it but again depending on what what revenue you actually make back from your videos it could be a worthwhile investment but currently I need to get myself monetized so I I'm using as much free programs as I can um, and apps and software that I have access to rather than actually spending money out because I do I do have uh, quite a lot of equipment that I have actually purchased. So uh, my money's going on equipment rather than actually on software. Uh, but that will come anyway. So um, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm actually going to show you a, a little demonstration on my computer, which shows you how to use Keynote and green screen to actually add in your um, your overlays any text you want or um, if you've got a logo that you want to include on on certain parts of your video so that will be the first bit that i go to so um let's head over to the computer now and i'll show you um how i do it so in keynote you need to select a, a new presentation. I always choose the wide format and normally just with a blank background. So first of all, remove the two titles and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the color fill and actually pick the circle. Now the circle itself gives you the RGB slider the only one you need to adjust is the green slider. 
Leave the red and the blue exactly as they are. Once you've done that, close that bit and you'll see the whole screen is green. From there, you would click to actually import the photo or the text or whatever logo or anything like that that you actually do have that you want to import into the green screen and into your iMovie video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick um, my logo that I use generally on a lot of my uh, on a lot of my videos. So I have all these ones. I'm just going to pick this one. I import that, and then what I'll do is depending on where you want it on the screen, because it's a green screen, the picture will be exactly where you place it on the screen. So if you look at that green screen will be your screen on your iMovie video, you will notice that I've put it in the bottom right hand corner. So when I put it and overlay it into the video, it will be in the bottom right hand corner. If you want, you can put a drop shadow, you can put a line or a border around your, your work. As you can see there, I've actually put like a little uh, drop shadow on there, but I don't want that border, so I'll actually take the border off, remove that off. And then as you see, you've got the, you've got the screen there. Now you're gonna just export it as an image. And you can save it as an image and then save it into whichever destination that you have on your computer. I put all these in my overlays and then I'm just going to call it something to do with Darren on demand logo. So export that. In Keynote what it will do it will generate an actual file and a folder. So you now jump back over into iMovies and from iMovies find where you're actually going to put the actual uh, file itself. Go to the uh, download or import and then I've saved it in overlays but what you'll see is The Darren On Demand logo is created a folder and then within that folder is the green screen with the picture. So import that and then just drag it. So you can see there it's there. Drag it down to where you actually want it on your video. I'm going to create it. If you watch you'll see that it just is a total green screen and the Darren On Demand is actually coming out onto the screen which I don't want. So select the length that you want it to be then you would go up to the crop and instead of the Ken Burns you would do fit to size. As you can see there it takes it onto the whole of the screen then you have to go on to the as you see there I've just clicked the cutaway button but you want to drop it down and do the green or blue screen and there you go, the actual logo itself, the green screen has disappeared and the picture appears as an overlay with me talking. And that will last however long I put it and then it will disappear. And that's it, it's as simple as that for, uh, for Keynote. Okay, so that's how I actually do my um, overlays using green screen in Keynote. So let's test the other version that I actually do uh, in Photoshop. And you can tell me or you can comment below and tell me which you would actually prefer to to use. You know, they're both quite simple. Um, 
but I've used Photoshop a lot more than I have Keynote. I've only really um, started teaching myself Keynote over the last month or so, but I use Photoshop a lot. So um, I'm going to take you now over to Photoshop and I'll show you how I actually edit the backgrounds and the overlays that I have that will enable me to actually import these into my iMovie videos. So without further ado, let's jump back over to the screen and I'll show you how I do my overlays in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, what you need to do is you need to create a new file, a new file and I always do all my documents the same size as my thumbnail. So it's 1280 pixels by 720. So click create and you'll be shown a screen like so. Now from here, you go up to um, open, a, an open a file, so file open, and again, find the, um, the logo or wording or anything that you want that's actually gonna be imported and used. So I'm gonna do exactly the same, I'm gonna use my um, Darren On Demand logo. So that's brought it into there, but that's actually created a new page. So from here, what I have to do is pull that down and from there drag that picture across to um, my new page that I created. Then from there you will free transform and reduce the size of the logo to the size that you actually want. So for this demo I'm actually going to have it on the left hand side not the right. So now you've got the white screen and the logo. So merge visible so that will actually like literally um, merge that layer onto the same and then you go to the magic eraser tool and click on the white background. Now this will remove the entire background and just leave the logo. Go up to File, Save As, drop down, and you can either do a PNG or you can do a TIFF file. TIFF files are bigger, PNGs are smaller. And from there, create the file that you want. So I'll just do Overlay, Down On Demand. And then save that. and large file so it's fastly saving. So that's now done. So what I now do is can go back over to iMovie and again import that document. So click the uh, import. I save this into overlays and scroll down to where it says overlay Darren on demand. So that's it. But what you'll see is the background now is black. Not clear, not white, black. So now I find where I want to put it. Drag that over. Drop it in place. And run it to however far I want it. Now it's slightly different. As you can see, it's, it's floating off the screen. So now you go up to the, the crop tool and instead of the Ken Burns, do the fit to screen. So that will stay where it is, it won't move. But then instead of picking green screen this time, you actually select where it needs to be and drop it down to either picture in picture or as cutaway. If you do picture in picture, it means you can actually drag the logo to anywhere that you want on the screen. But I just chose to have it at the bottom. So there it is. Okay, so there you go. There's the overlays in Photoshop and there's the overlays in Keynote. Let me know below in what you actually think um, is the best for you moving forward. Uh, and if you use something different, be great to know 
what you use because maybe I can go and actually check out that software as well because I do like to actually have access to many different uh, avenues on ways on creating um, bits and pieces for my computer. Um, so yeah, there we go. All I can say now really is if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please, please do click that subscribe button below. And for any notifications uh, on any new videos that I have coming out, just click that little notification bell and you'll be notified anytime I produce a new video like the one that you're actually watching now. But until the next time, guys, I will see you on the next one. Peace.